Hello and welcome back to Planet Nibiru. Today we'll be discussing the upcoming total solar eclipse that will happen on August 17th, 2017. But first I would like to take a quick second to thank all of our subscribers, both old and new. The channel has grown quite a bit lately and I am so happy to see so many new additions to our community. We couldn't have done it without our older subscribers who have supported us with their views, comments, likes, and shares. I look forward to the conversations we will have as a new and larger community. So thank you very much. Now, let's take a look at this solar eclipse which many are saying is the beginning of the end. The eclipse will come before the Great Alignment which occurs on September 23rd of this year. This is when we will see the alignment spoken about in Revelations 12.1. Revelations 12.1 reads, And a great sign appeared in the heavens, a woman clothed in the sun with the moon under her feet and a crown of twelve stars on her head. This is the alignment of Virgo, which will be directly above the moon. According to Revelations, this is when the beginning of the end is to happen, and it describes those times as being like the birth pangs of a woman in labor. So let's take a little bit deeper look at this eclipse. On August 21st, 2017, a total solar eclipse will darken the American skies starting in Oregon and moving across the country's midsection to South Carolina. The shadow will be close to 70 miles wide and divides the country in half. Does this pretend evil for the nations according to scripture? Absolutely. In Revelation 6, which happens just prior to the day of the Lord, the Bible speaks about the sun turning as black as sackcloth. When the moon passes between the earth and the sun, you have a solar eclipse, which can occur totally or partly and obscures the image of the sun for an earth-based viewer. The last time that this happened, where the path of totality lies completely within the United States, was in 1776, the date of the founding of our republic. The starting point of the Great Eclipse is on the waterfront at Government Point, Oregon at 10.15 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time. The center line's last contact with the continental United States occurs at the Atlantic Ocean's edge just southeast of Key Bay, South Carolina. In the meantime, the eclipse impacts a total of 10 states. In the Bible, 10 represents order and completeness. This goes back in history to the ten generations that began with Adam and ended with Noah. That generation had a pretty abrupt end. You might recall the Great Flood. This Great Eclipse also is a time marker to the Great Sign of Virgo, which will be just 33 days away from the August 17th date of the Eclipse. As seen from the Midwest, the planet Venus will also be at negative 33 degrees west-northwest of the Sun. 2017 may well be the culmination and convergence of diverse prophecies, including the appearance of Planet X. Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians that the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. People will be talking about peace and safety, but Paul makes reference to this in the same chapter and says that it will be like labor pains upon a pregnant woman. This definitely points to the September 23, 2017 Great Sign, or Great Alignment. This will represent the birth of Jupiter, the king planet, from the womb of Virgo. All of this will be accompanied by labor pains, which could be thought of as seismic activity or volcanic activity here on Earth. This could even represent social upheaval and change. Ominously, Revelation 12 is the last reference in the entire Bible to this event. This is a period of darkness. What might cause this to happen? Right now, there is a huge reawakening of volcanoes across the world. In Italy, in the Bay of Naples, right near Pompeii, which is the site of the 79 AD eruption of Mount Vesuvius, there is a supervolcano known as Campi Fiegri, which if it erupted, could kill millions. In fact, it is so large, it could have a global catastrophic impact. Scientists are in the process of drilling down two miles deep into the crust of the earth at the site to measure the magma levels beneath. Despite opposition from other scientists who believe that this is suicidal and could cause the supervolcano to erupt. Are all of these facts which are in simultaneous motion just mere chance occurrences? Well, let's see what Albert Einstein has to say about chance. Einstein once said, coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous. 
So what do you guys think? I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. So get in the comment section and let us know. And please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Thank you for watching and we'll be back soon with another video. Total eclipse of the sun, visible today over North America for the last time in this century. This is an ABC News special. Live coverage of the solar eclipse. Now from New York, here is correspondent Frank Reynolds. Good morning. This is indeed a special events broadcast of a genuine special event. The last total eclipse of the sun over the continent this century. The moon is moving between the sun and the earth and across a relatively narrow strip of the northwestern United States and central Canada. What you are seeing now is a picture taken from the Goldendale Observatory. And it is, it's showing the eclipse of the sun over Portland, Oregon. It is approximately 75% or so of uh, totality. In 13 minutes, it will be uh, total over Portland, and we'll show you a fantastic sight then. Now, this is the Portland skyline. Now, in about 12 minutes or so, Portland is going to go dark. Look at it right now. As you can see it, uh, the eclipse over Portland at the moment is about 75% or so. But uh, Portland is covered with a cloud cover, which is not at all unusual for this time of year. Some people say for almost any time of the year. But uh, very shortly now, Portland is going to go dark because the eclipse, as you see picture, it there now, this is the eclipse of the sun. It is uh, about 95% or so total now, as taken uh, over Portland, Oregon, from our camera in Goldendale, Washington. Let's go to Jules Bergman, who is there now. Frank, as you can see, the eclipse is virtually complete. We're about seven or eight minutes away from totality. This is known as the second, fa the second phase of the eclipse, and the solar disk is about 85% blotted out by the lunar disk. Shortly, if all goes well and we're not blocked out by clouds, you may begin to be see <coughs> you may begin to see Bailey's beads, faint rims of light jumping up from the lunar from the solar surface. Uh, as matched out by the faint rims of solar light coming through lunar valleys. And there's our problem now, cloud decks, yes. cloud decks soaring through. There are literally thousands of people gathered at this small observatory, and it's almost a ritual feat. Now, the cloud, as you can see, is, uh, have moved away, and you've got a clearer picture again. Jules, uh, it really is a spectacular picture, and I'd just like to remind everybody that what we're really seeing here, that sliver of light that is slowly disappearing behind the clouds there, is not the moon, but it is the sun, and now it's gone. We showed you the picture just a few moments ago when it was approximately 75% of totality, and it was quite bright. Now Portland is getting dark. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's midnight in Portland, or at the eclipse. Jules, can you, uh, you can't see Portland from where you are, but I must tell you... And my name is Steve, and we're going to talk about it in this video. Thanks for watching. It's, it's going to be, uh, you know, according to, uh, according to some lead scientists, you know, from NASA, it's going to be the most uh, observed, most filmed, most photographed, most studied, most documented, and probably the most appreciated of all eclipses in all human history. So, yeah. Just, you know, go about your business. Don't bother, you know, paying any attention to this. It's it's not anything special, is it? Or, or is it? No, this is going to be a special solar eclipse, and, and here's why. But by, by, uh, by all means, this, this is something that you want to take note of. Uh, now, we, we know that, you know, a solar eclipse happens somewhere on our, you know, uh, Oh, every 18 months or so, you know, except for partial solar eclipses, you know, they're, they're more common. Uh, on average, about two to five, they say solar eclipses of some type occur every year. Um, but, you know, total solar eclipses are special. And, and not just because they happen infrequently. A uh, total solar eclipse is widely regarded as probably one of the most breathtaking, amazing phenomena that you can observe from this planet Earth with your own two eyes. And, uh, you know, the August 21st event of 2017 
it, it will also bring a strange and brief false night to the landscape on, on, on the path of totality. Now, here's what makes this really, really interesting and how it fits in, I believe, how it sort of ties in together or has some relevance to the Revelation 12 sign in the heavens on September 23rd of 2017. Because this is, you got to remember, this is just right before the sign. This is in August. This is August 21st. This uh, total eclipse takes place. Uh, we're looking at just a little over a month, 33 days. 33 days, I believe. So it's almost like a 33 day warning leading up to the sign. So here you are, all of a sudden, you know, you see a 360 degree sunset all around you. Stars appear, you know, the temperature drops. You can actually hear the chirping of grasshoppers. And, you know, because animals that naturally kind of go back to their nocturnal behavior. And then it kind of passes over and everybody goes, oh, wow, that was cool. And then they go back to work and they forget about it. Well, I don't know if people should forget so easily forget about this one because many people will be able you know to experience this on the 21st if if they actually choose to do so but uh, they say about 220 million folks live within a day's drive of the totality path you know that 70 mile wide uh, path that extends from coast you know to basically coast to coast from the coast of Oregon through Idaho, Wyoming, Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina. The totality will be, you know, everywhere along the path. Now, listen, listen close. As an expert, an eclipse expert, uh, his name's Jay uh, Pasichoff. He's an astronomer at Williams College in Massachusetts. And he told Space.com last year, he said, this is what he said. He said, it's been 99 years, 99, since a total solar eclipse was so accessible to Americans from coast to coast. And in addition, this August 21st event will be the first ever solar eclipse whose path of totality hits no country other than the U United States. And get this, the last one to meet this geographical standard occurred before the nation gained its independence in 1776. So, yeah, let's just go back to sleep. Nothing happening here. Yeah, are you kidding me? 33 days before the sign of Revelation 12, the most amazing solar eclipse occurs over the United States, splitting the country in half, 99 years since a total solar eclipse like this was so accessible to Americans from coast to coast. And it will be the first ever solar eclipse that who, 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 whose path of totality hits no country other than the United States. And the last one to me, this geographical standard occurred before the nation gained its independence in 1776. This is a sign to the nations. It is particularly a sign to the United States. And it's 33 days before the, the sign appears in the heavens that fulfills Revelation 12 on September 23rd. 2017. Thanks for watching.